and this is how the device looks. And then we plug it that in. That part goes into the brain, This right? part goes into the brain. The light goes into our device, which is, goes directly into the brain. That was the story we did from MIT last year. Its researchers have developed a revolutionary interface enabling a connection between a human brain and a machine. But Professor Anikeva, in charge of that research, insisted that this technology had purely scientific incline and for now could only be used for studies of the gray matter or injecting medication into ill brain cells. The U.S. military now looks to take the neurotechnology to a completely next level. The Guardian reports that it basically wants to create cyborgs by connecting computers to soldiers' heads. The research is conducted by the U.S. military's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, which we know too well by these robot videos. The new program is called Neural Engineering System Design, or NESD, which aims to develop an implantable neural interface connecting humans directly to computers. Philip Elvel, the NASD manager for DARPA, said its goal was to upgrade the tools that we have to really open the channel between the human brain and modern electronics. At the moment, human-computer interfaces are able to connect between 100 and 1,000 brain neurons to a machine at the time. DARPA aims to refine this technology to connect individual neurons. This would give much finer control, reduce noise, and speed up communications between a human and a computer. DARPA's website confirms the news, also citing that among the program's potential applications are devices that could compensate for deficits in sight or hearing by feeding digital auditory or visual information into the brain at a resolution and experiential quality far higher than possible with current technology. Considering that DARPA's research has an end goal of military application, it's not hard to imagine where that could be used. But can it? When we filmed the story in MIT, Professor Anikeva laughed off any suggestions that human brain can be controlled by a machine, at least at this point. Can you, like, sort of program something into no, your person? No, uh, not at this point, no, by no means. We, our brain is too sophisticated for us to be able to do something like that at this, uh, and definitely not with the simplistic tools that we have right now. But at the end of the day, the events of the hit movie Matrix, where computers did control a human brain, took place in a distant future. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Washington, D.C.